What is going on guys, Mobile Carrier News here. So this is a screenshot that I was technically in Mexico. Um, I usually, there's two networks in the in Mexico. It's either Movistar or Telcel. And now the only difference between the, these two carriers is that Movistar has the fastest speeds, yet Telcel has the most coverage. Think of it as, think of it as Verizon versus AT&T in a sense. So... Basically, I had full bars every, but only LTE, full bars of LTE. Um, I have heard Movistar and Telcel are going to be expanding their own 5G network, but not to like 2025, 2026. They're, you know, other countries are way later into the 5G era. Um, as far as I've heard from other places like um, maybe Turkey, India, just other places are just, they're doing it, you know, later on. Now... This is the speeds I was getting between Movistar, which uh, kind of shocked me because usually for Movistar and for Telcel, they switch off. But, you know, there's still fast speeds. I, I, I could get 60 down and like maybe 25 up, sometimes even like 100 and like 20. Heck, even 100 and almost like 200 down and something up. But, you know, these were the speeds I getting. And surprisingly, uh, even... um. Even with TikTok and Instagram, YouTube, and all of it taking up so much data, and that I was getting these amount of speeds with full bars of LTE, it was possible that I still went over uh, because when you have Verizon, you have about two gigabytes. Yet it's yet it's it's still yeah it's still unlimited with three G speeds. So I think I believe it's like a meg. It's not too bad. And then you have T Mobile's sense. I was also using them as well. Unfortunately, didn't have any time to do a speed test with them. They were getting actually no, I did do a speed test. Sorry, but I didn't have enough time to take a screenshot. And as you can see here, it's basically the same speeds. The highest in the daytime was I think thirty two down. I think maybe uh, like fifteen up, which is not bad. It's really good. Um, it could do better though. And so that's basically my standpoint on using the two carriers. Um, you know, in Mexico or if I was in Canada, it'd be the same thing. But I did not have time to test out the um, if T-Mobile would slow me down or give me 3G speeds. I'll have to do that on another video. But overall, you know, it's not too bad. You know, it still works. You know, I wish in the future all carriers from the U.S., T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon in the future would actually remove that 3G, spat, uh, 3G cap. But, I mean, to be honest, let's be real here. They always want to make money, especially when you travel. So... Maybe someday, maybe when they release new unlimited plans, they'll literally give you unlimited, you know, unlimited uh, international uh, data. But it gets very expensive. So just keep in mind that it gets very pricey, very cost effective. But, you know, just want to give you guys an update on that. But um, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, do you guys have you guys been traveling? Have you experienced? Have, have you noticed a difference if T-Mobile? How is it? How are the speeds? Are you throttled the 3G speeds with unlimited or do you have to charge it more? Or do you have Verizon? The Even though you go over the 2 gigs, do you still have a meg? Because you can still do stuff. It'll just be pretty slow, but it, it works most of the time. But let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.